Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm going to show you how I made these little custom Gudetama inspired vans. So to start off with, I took these old, old schools that I had. They're really, really dirty and really old. And one of them even has this mystery stain on, which I have no idea what it is. The bottoms of them are in perfect condition. So these are the perfect candidate. Anyway, what I did first of all was I removed all of the laces from both of the shoes and then I went over to my bathtub and just gave them a nice old bath in some bleach just to kind of get all the stains out, like really whiten up like the rubbery parts of the soles and everything like that so that I had a clean base to work from. I basically just used my bathtub because I have never once used this bathtub and it was the perfect place to kind of let them sit in the bleach. I left them sit for about half an hour and then it just rinsed off all the bleach from all of the shoes and laces. Next, I needed to thoroughly wash out the bleach. So I actually decided to just pop them in the washing machine. So to do this, I just took a white pillowcase. This is one I use actually just for shoe cleaning and I have it set aside in my wardrobe. I just pop them in and tie it up so the shoes cannot escape and like the laces and stuff can't mess up my washing machine and basically what I then do is take a load of like whites and everything like that pop that into my washing machine so think like dirty towels some t-shirts that, that may need a little bit of whitening some like brand new face cloths that I've never even used still and need to be washed and then I pop in the pillowcase kind of filled with shoes into it and turn on the washing machine you can use whatever additives you want but I used vanish powder like whitening stuff so that the shoes would come out nice and clean once they'd done a full cycle the shoes were then ready to paint so I actually went ahead with these new mermaid inspire brushes that I have these are totally unnecessary I totally didn't need them but I just couldn't resist leaving them there and I just had to have them so yeah that's the paint brushes that I'm using I went ahead and painted all of the shoes in a nice coat of white acrylic paint first of all that was a little bit watered down just so I could get a nice even base and then I went in with this nice kind of yellowy orange color just to match Gudetama I just went ahead and painted both the bottom side panel and the top panel of the vans. I did actually later change the top panel because I thought the orange was a bit too much here, but you can leave it like that if you want to. On the toe part, I then went ahead and drew out the rough shape of Gudetama just with a pencil. And I find like working with pencils on shoes better so you can just rub them out if you mess up or anything. And it's also quite easy to kind of paint over the lines. I then went ahead with a small paintbrush and just painted Gudetama in the same orange colour that I painted either side of the shoe and then I went ahead and painted on a little design on the back of the shoe also. I wanted the backs to kind of look like they had little Gudetama's butts on and then like the front of Gudetama on the front so I just sketched out that and then painted in his body with the exact same colour yet again. Next I went in with white acrylic paint again and added on the highlights onto both the Gudetama on the front and the Gudetama on the back of the shoe. I then went ahead and mixed up a like darker orangey kind of colour and I used that as the shadows on Gudetama. I did use some Google pictures as a reference so this helped me to know where to put like the shadows and everything like that. I did go ahead and paint on Gudetama's mouth in the white as I know the center of the mouth is white and I did go ahead also and draw out a little kind of like chopstick going across so it looked like it was kind of picking up Gudetama as I know that chopsticks do feature in some of the little cartoons. I wanted to kind of like bring both the images together on both the shoes so I thought like the chopstick would be a fantastic way to kind of like you know bring them both in but anyway I actually mixed up a kind of light brown for that shade and then just painted the chopstick color on. Once all of the base colors and everything like that was then in place I actually went ahead with a very 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 fine paintbrush and just painted on a black outline this took me absolutely forever not gonna lie i was probably there for about a couple hours just painting around the outline of Gudetama, the outline of like the chopstick on both the front and back designs just because i really really didn't want to mess it up and i wanted to keep it as fine and as smooth and like just as neat as possible and honestly it just took me forever but i think it definitely makes Gudetama stand out so much more and look so much more like the original like when the outline was fully done 
I then moved on and painted around the mouth and then painted on Gudetama's eyes and then obviously I did the outline on the other shoe and on the back design. This is where I decided that the orange was too much so I actually went ahead and painted the top panel in a black. I quite liked it but then I thought you know I don't really like black vans either so <laughs> I went ahead and changed my mind yet again and painted the black in a white and then that's when I finally decided enough was enough and it was staying white. I then took some matte Mod Podge and I just put a thin layer on where Gudetama was kind of painted on and I wanted to protect the design and I also did the same on the back end of the shoe. I then decided I needed to paint the tongue so I actually made the tongue in the orange colour and I think that kind of evens out the white and the orange kind of like balance. I then went ahead and wrote out the word Gudetama along the side of the shoe and then painted it like so I had like a bubble version of the text in white and then I went ahead with a dot and tool and some black acrylic paint and just wrote on the word Gudetama inside the white bubble just so that it looked like the font from obviously Gudetama. On the other shoe I did write the lazy egg so that the whole thing was like together and on both of the shoes. So this is what the design of the right shoe turned out. We have Gudetama upside down on a chopstick at the end. Gudetama climbing out of a little eggshell on the bottom with his butt hanging out. And then the word obviously Gudetama. On the left shoe we have the lazy egg with Gudetama facing upwards. And then just another little butt kind of climbing out the eggshell on the back. So this is the before and after of the toes, the before and after of the right shoe and the before and after of the left shoe. To style them I just kind of put them together with some jeans and a little Gudetama t-shirt and I think it makes the cutest outfit ever. So hopefully you enjoyed this video, if you do please do give it a thumbs up and I'll see you the day after next for another video. Bye!